What's the most too far you've ever seen a high school prank go? Seniors in my high school locked all the exits with bike locks and pulled the fire alarm. They were charged. A guy in my class put a tack on a chair like in old cartoons. When a classmate sat in that chair, it was not funny. There was a teacher who'd been teaching for 20 plus years. You either loved her or hated her. Some kid tried to put a thumbtack in her chair, but she caught it and moved it as she'd seen the prank many times before in her career. Kid decided to post on Facebook that he was going to shoot up the school then not show up the next day. The lockdown lasted six hours past the final bell until they found this kid. The lockdown lasted six hours past the final bell. So they locked everyone in the place that the guy threatened to shoot up? Am I the only one that sees a problem with the... Every school in America does that. They just lock the doors and turn the lights off. Spraying people with nair hair remover. A group of kids staged a kidnapping one time. They borrowed a van and drove in front of a busy shopping center. One guy, pretending to escape, jumped out the trunk all wrapped up in duct tape. To the horror of all the bystanders, the van stopped, two kids ran out and recaptured the escapee and drove off. Cops had to go to their homes when the van was identified, and they had a lot of clearing up to do. My dad as a sociology project drove around town with a fake arm hanging out of the trunk, had three calls to the police, and they followed them back to the school. Got in trouble, but also an A. Had a mate in a neck brace for a year because him and another mate would frequently push each other into things like walls, railings etc. as a joke. The other mate decided to one-up him by pushing him down a flight of stairs. When I was a freshman there was a tree that was planted when the school was founded. The seniors destroyed it everyone was fucking pissed. Something similar happened at my school except the tree was a baby tree planted in memorial of a teacher that had been killed in a car accident. On a few occasions it was vandalized pretty heavily by whoever trying to pull it out of the ground with a truck, another time it was basically split right down the middle. I think the school just pulled it up eventually. Not seen, but the senior class before I was a freshman had dumped whole buckets of crickets into all of the school's garbage cans. Fast forward, a fight broke out at lunch, and a student was knocked into one of the garbage cans and thousands of crickets spilled out onto the concourse causing a massive riot I'm talking mobs of kids leaving the school. The school was infested with crickets for years. I think we may have gone to the same school. I remember the day they did it. Still found crickets long after they were gone. At my high school when I was a freshman a group of seniors had broken into the school the night before with hundreds of bottles of lube to grease up all the staircases in the school. Like 15 kids went to the hospital. One kid cracked his head open and had to be rushed to the ER. When I was a sophomore a group did the same thing at my school. But they also greased the handrails, handicap ramp, and a wooden memorial bench. The bench was ruined. And I don't know what they used, but after it was cleaned it would come back every time it rained. Dude in my school had a crummy old car that the lock was broken and could easily be put in neutral and pushed around. The steering still locked, so mostly kids would push it into a parking space ahead or behind of it. One day they pushed it and it got away from them and it damn had a teacher's car. The kids owned up to it, but considering the owner was so sick of his car being messed with he called the police. Turns out moving a car a few meters is considered vehicle theft around here and three kids were charged and expelled. Someone let a greased pig loose in the school. It basically ran around and was pretty funny. Teachers did try to catch him, but basically they opened doors and figured the pig would run outside. The janitor went caveman and killed the pig with a broken broom handle. Blood all over the floor. Janitor was fired that day. This is around a week after the Parkland shooting in Florida. Some freshmen thought it would be a cool idea to bring in a BB pistol during school hours. 
All the staff thought he was an actual school shooter, and there were a lockdown with everyone ready to throw some heavy books at the first person who came in their rooms. He got expelled and some say that he got sent to juvie. I should probably provide more context. The dude was planning to play a prank on a friend of his by pulling out the BB gun. And that's how I spent three hours in my chem class panicking. Also how the staff realized. One time at my high school some dude brought in a string of firecrackers. Big ones. Set them off in the middle of class change. Almost caused a mass panic. Got two weeks suspension, despite breaking three level four offenses which had the automatic punishment of expulsion. Our school administration was a fucking joke. I swear, my school could have an actual school shooter and he'd get a single day in in-school suspension. The admins are so scared of giving kids actual consequences for their actions. A year before I transferred to a school I learned that some seniors greased the steps with baby oil causing students to slip and fall including teachers one of which was several months pregnant. The principal ordered that they do not get to walk for graduation. There was this whole mess with the parents fighting to get the punishment overturned, some of the students got punished and others got to walk for graduation. The parents were like no one got seriously hurt and it was just a prank. But seriously? <laughs>